Welcome to December PRS. This month, we're going to look at two great new studies that plastic surgeons could and should use to better treat and understand patients who have macromastia or abnormally large breasts and other breast problems. In this new study in the Journal of Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery, it focuses on the quality of life of 12 to 21 year olds with asymmetric breasts. These researchers compared self-esteem, psychological health, and eating attitude survey results from 160 adolescents with macromastia, 59 with asymmetry, and 142 control patients. The results showed that asymmetry patients scored lower on the psychological and self-esteem surveys, but did not differ in physical health from the control group. And it also uncovered a new finding. In addition to posting negative scores similar to asymmetry patients, macromastia patients scored significantly lower on the health and eating habits survey. This confirms that adolescents with abnormally large breasts are also more likely to form unhealthy eating habits. This important study was able to conclude that breast asymmetry and macromastia or large breasts can negatively impact the psychological quality of life for these adolescents, specifically their self-esteem, emotional health, and social functioning. The authors indicate that while discussing and undergoing surgical treatment for these conditions, it's important for patients to have proper emotional and psychological support. Interestingly, in another study in the Journal of Plastic and Reconstructive Surgeons, a group of plastic surgeons actually report on a new consultation method that aims to provide some of these emotional supports in a shared medical appointment in which a group of patients meet with a single physician. This is coupled with a traditional one-on-one. -on -one. These shared consultations aim to help patients learn and share by providing a variety of perspectives and experiences together in a group setting. The idea of you and several other patients, likely strangers, receiving a group consultation may seem to be off-putting, but in this new study, it aims to show that patients may actually benefit by these shared sessions. These researchers determined that patient satisfaction is ranked very high for these group appointments, especially in the areas of education and clinical visits. These macromastia patients like the shared medical appointments, and it was exciting to see how patients interacted with others with similar types of conditions. These studies are a great reminder to all of us as plastic surgeons that our work is not reserved just in the operating room only, but we are also interested in making it a better patient experience, a more holistic approach in improving our patients' everyday lives, as well as their contact with us before and after surgery. For more information about surgical intervention for macromastia and breast asymmetry, as well as how to find a board-certified plastic surgeon near you, please visit plasticsurgery.org. And also remember to subscribe to us for videos on hot topics in the Journal of Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery.